We're here at Dar es Salaam at the SeaTac Africa Regional Training Workshop for SICOM, and we have Dr. Yogi Naik, who is SeaTac Africa President. I'd like to ask you, Dr. Naik, what do you uh, see uh, as the role of SeaTac Africa with regards to this workshop, as well as the development of SeaTac in Africa in general? Thanks, Mike. Um, I think uh, just to give some short background quickly, the SICAM initiative is there to try and integrate uh, international chemical controls management and as a result of which all many nations are coming together, people from different disciplines are coming together and um, that is what SICAM is about and that's what this training workshop is about, is to disseminate some of this knowledge or to try and get people trained in order to better cope with the SICAM initiative. In terms of CTEC um, general, uh, globally, their aim is to involve environmental toxicologists and chemists to come together to see if they can share information and somehow reduce or control and be more aware of the chemical uh, threats to the environment, not only to human health but also to the environment in general. And I think CTEC and SICAM come together because the aims of SICAM can be better achieved with the assistance of people within CTEC who have those objectives. In terms of CTEC Africa, many countries in Africa are underdeveloped and therefore they have mainly agricultural and mining based industry but not much industrial based, industry, uh, not, not much industrial based activity. Now what this means is that the developed world has learned lessons from uh, some of the mistakes that they've made and the developing world such as Africa can learn from some of the mistakes that have been made by uh, Europe, America and the, most of the developed world. So with SICAM coming to Africa and training people, we will be better prepared for the potential threats in the future as we begin to industrialize and join the rest of the world. I think that CTEC Africa has a role to play in Africa because many countries have been working independently and in isolation and membership of CTEC Africa would allow uh, people from different countries to come together and share their uh, views, their results and their opinions in order to better achieve the goals of SICAM. And uh, Dr. Naik, one last question. Um, can you encourage uh, your fellow CTEC members to join you at the Kampala uh, annual meeting in November this year? Yes, um, the fourth meeting of CTEC Africa will be taking place in Kampala in Uganda. Uh, the previous three meetings have been very successful. They've been growing in terms of numbers. The membership has grown every time people come to these conferences. I would strongly recommend anybody who has an interest in environmental toxicology and chemistry to attend that uh, meeting in Kampala. Not only African scientists, but the CTEC Africa platform would also allow scientists from Europe to come and interact with scientists in Africa. Very good, uh, Dr. Naik or Yogi, and uh, let me just wish you every success with SeaTac Africa. Thanks very much, Mike.